Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showcasing Kitbash 3D, uh, what it is, and how you can get it in Unreal Engine, as well as this free Neo City kit, which I'll show you guys how to get. So first of all, if you've never heard about Kitbash 3D, it's basically a website where you can buy these various kits to build your levels. They have many different kits to buy, ranging from uh, medieval fantasy game themes, to destroyed city, futuristic cities, Roman Empire, industrial, steampunk, and many more themes. Basically a kit consists of a bunch of different 3D assets. Um, as you can see here, this is the steampunk kit and you can see there's a ton of different buildings and building pieces that you can actually use. Recently, they actually just announced that it is game engine ready, which basically means that you can actually go ahead and download this, get it imported right into Unreal Engine without having to do any extra work. Um, I will show you guys the process and how it all works, but first, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to kitbash3d.com and go ahead and pick up this free Neo City mini kit. Right now, it's completely free. Uh, I don't know how long this offer is going to be, but go ahead and pick this up. Uh, basically, I'll do a review here at the end of the video showing you guys uh, some of these assets here in the engine. But basically what you want to do is go ahead and click the login button or create an account. If you're new, just click sign up. Basically, you're going to put your first name, last name, email, and all that stuff. Once you verify your email, you can go ahead and sign in. And then you just go to the Neo City kit, add to the cart. You just want to select the format, Unreal. And then for the renderer, Unreal Engine 4, add to cart. And then just check out. Okay, I've already done this before, so in my account here, I have the Neo City. And then you can choose uh, what format you want it. Download as Unreal U4 and download the kit. Okay, so basically it's going to download it as a zip, show up as a UE4.zip. Now I've already done this, and it's here on my desktop right here. Go ahead and extract the file. All right, once you extracted the project, you can go ahead and open it up here. And it's this Kitbash 3D Neo Cities. Go ahead and open up the Unreal project. All right, once you open up the project, you're gonna see you're in this main level here. Uh, for some reason, it didn't load any of the content in here. I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a showcase of all the assets. But anyways, if you go into your content folder, uh, Kitbash 3D, Neo Cities, you're going to see here you have a bunch of different folders. So in the geometries, basically these are all the different static meshes that the kit comes with. And in the actors, um, basically these are like geometry collections of all the uh, different buildings grouped together in blueprints. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is just... Uh, migrate this content over to a empty third-person uh, blueprint project. Okay, so I have this uh, empty third-person project here. It's just named Kitbash. Go ahead and migrate these. So go into the Kitbash CD, right-click, click Migrate. And then we're just going to click OK. Go to our Documents folder. Unreal Projects. Kit bashed content and just select there. And basically, you just do this for whatever project that you're working on. You want to get your kit bash assets right into your game. You can go ahead and do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a new default level and then just set our lighting here to movable and create ourselves a new landscape. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag in these actors here. All right, so I can go ahead and pull these out here. Alright, so you can see there are these uh, this different building collections. Basically, they're just blueprints that have all the uh, geometries placed and grouped into them. Uh, so we can go ahead and start here. I can give you kind of a zoomed out view of everything. So you can see there's a lot of tall buildings here. So if we just hit play from here, go ahead and check things out. So it looks like the collisions aren't set up here, but... Let me go ahead and change that. So I go back into our... Okay, so we're in here. It's going to use complex collision as simple. So I'll just do this here for the floor as well. OK, 
Okay, so now if we hit play here, we can run up here. And it looks like everything is pretty much a scale. Um, okay, so this building kind of just looks like some sort of office complex or something. Not too sure what's going on here. Yeah, I can run out here and show you uh, the whole thing. Okay, and you can obviously customize the billboards here that says Kit Bash 3D. You can change that. Change the texture on that and put whatever logo, whatever you want for it. Okay. Alright, and then next up here, we're going to go check out uh, this building right here. So it looks like there's just a lot of detail on the ground as well. Uh, there's trash cans and like these little like signs and stuff right here. So we can walk around here. Kind of looks like some sort of restaurant entrance. And then we can just go around the whole building. So yeah, I mean, pretty basic. If I give you a flyby of everything on the outside, you can see also has another billboard right there. A lot of little details too, like these uh, satellite dishes here on the side. And you can see the textures and everything are pretty high quality, I want to say. And I forgot to show you kind of the top down view of this one. Uh, so you can see. So pretty cool. Alright, and then we have uh, these geometry collections here, which are basically, it's just a blueprint that has all of these buildings put into it. So really you can um, use these buildings again in your level. So you got kind of this smaller building, uh, two trees, another office building, um, some curved corner buildings here, and some more office buildings. Okay, so the roofs of these are pretty detailed here with a lot of fans and electrical devices or equipment or whatever. So if I go ahead and play from here. Okay, so you can see here I'm running around the roof. Just a lot of different details. Okay, stairs don't work, but it's fine. You can fix that later. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can make some sort of parkour game or something. I don't know. Okay, on this building you can see these stairways here, staircase, little cool detail. Alright, moving on, we have like this apartment building complex. Uh, you can see there's different balconies here. Each with their little air conditioning unit, very nice. So basically, all building. It's pretty symmetrical. Okay, on the top, this nice detailed rooftop here uh, has a little grass up here, water tower, and everything. Pretty standard. Uh, the base doesn't look like there's anything special about it down here. Okay. All right. As for one of our last buildings here, the tallest one, the skyscraper. Now this thing is. Enormous. Uh, basically, it's just a massive skyscraper. Um, you can see the details here on the windows. Everything is looking pretty good. Um, there's not much on the base, not much going on in the base, uh, but on the top here, I think it's pretty simple too. Yep. And yeah. Okay, up next we have this little. I want to say it kind of looks like a police station or something, I don't know, like some sort of, just a little building. Okay, so if we hit play from here, we can run up to the door. And just little nice details around the building. 
Okay, let's go ahead and check out the last items here. Okay, and last up we have here some sort of uh, street vendor shop or something. Okay, so they got a little grill. A little umbrella here with just tons of different equipment. It's supposed to be a futuristic um, cyberpunk, I guess, theme. Okay, and then over here we have a little shop, Chinese medicine. See, they have a bunch of different bottles here. And you got like this little hollow projector or something. Okay, and we go around, you can see these little crates and stuff on the back, so. And you can see here all the wiring and stuff on the side. Okay, so here in the geometries folder, you can see all the different little pieces that you actually get. Um, now you get like some of these assets that you can use, like the concrete barrier. Okay, so I just placed some of these in the scene here. You can see this concrete barrier right there. And then we got this little lamppost, which is the same lamppost using that. Okay, and then we got these little banners here. And this little building piece. So really you can take out some of these uh, pieces in these geometry collections and just use it to populate and build your world. And again, this is like a mini kit, so uh, you really only have, I mean, you still have like a lot of uh, different geometry pieces, but in some of the other kit bash kits, you can see here, there are just a lot more different uh, pieces to build with and, and different props that you can use. But overall, I'm going to say this is a pretty good kit. Um, you can do a lot with just a few building assets, really. You can rotate them and transform them and change the color and materials to really build your own city. Uh, so that's what I'll probably do in the next video. In a future video, I'll probably make something out of this. And yeah, guys, go ahead and make sure you pick this up on kitbash3d.com uh, because it is a limited time that they're probably doing this and you definitely don't want to miss out. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the quick review and I'll see you guys in the next one.